Breaking news from overnight that the Clippers are making a trade for Paul George, clearing the way for Kawhi Leonard to sign with the Clippers on a four-year, $141 million deal. agreed to a one-year, $3.5 million deal with the Lakers. And this is going to be an even broader Pelicans reunion. Boogie in the brow plus, maybe? Because, yes, we have a perk bomb. Hey. Bring it, bring it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Rajon Rondo oh, headed oh, back. At the proportions, and I think one of the people that you can credit, um, obviously, is LeBron James in a roundabout way. The fact that he's in L.A. at the Staples Center, the fact that he's in L.A. at the Staples Center, and ultimately facilitated Anthony Davis arriving in Los Angeles with him. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard is better than LeBron James. Welcome back, Andrew says. I wouldn't lie to you. Except for maybe this once, and especially not about LeBron James. And at this point, you've heard Kawhi is going to the Clippers. And LeBron immediately has to get DeMarcus Cousins. Now they have Cousins, Rondo, Anthony Davis. First of all, why do I find this as hilarious as I do? Because of the bandwagoners. This year in Toronto, we witnessed a monumental shift in the fan base where all of a sudden overnight, every girl was a Toronto Raptors fan. Raptors fan. And I went to college with a lot of girls, a lot of girls in my program. And so I have a lot of them on Instagram is my point. And they never once ever posted about sports, let alone basketball. Then out of nowhere, they became number one fans. And it's because of Jurassic Park. And if you don't know what that is, that's the area outside of where the Raptors play. And that's where people cram in in very tight quarters. It's usually raining there. <laughs> Can't really drink that much. The beer's really far away. Can't go to the bathroom You're in front of a big screen. You know, it's because it's a thing. It's a thing to post about. So all these girls are going crazy for the Raptors ever since probably the second round of the playoffs. They're the biggest Raptors fans. And Kawhi Leonard's the greatest. And all of a sudden, I love basketball. And now he's gone. <laughs> now there's no th nothing else to post about. So... Kawhi never said he was going to stay. He got traded to Toronto after seven years with the Spurs. He won once with the Spurs, won in Toronto, and he's like, my contract's over. Let me go max out and go home because he's from L.A. He's, he's a quiet guy. He doesn't really crave the spotlight, and he's still able to win championships. LeBron, though, not that much, not that much. LeBron is so mad that other people can win titles easier and faster than him. He abandoned Cleveland for Miami to win only two, which is kind of sad considering the team that he had. Went back to Cleveland, and I still can't figure out why they accepted him back. LeBron, on that note, LeBron going back to Cleveland, he's like, imagine you have a girlfriend, and she's like, I'm moving, we can just say Miami. I'm moving to Miami to have sex with cooler, hotter, richer dudes, and I'll post all about it on Instagram, and I'm not going to make any bones about it. That's what I'm going there to do. And then she comes back, and she's like, baby, I'm sorry. Things are going to be better now. And you accept her. You get engaged. And then she's just like, yeah, I'm leaving. I'm going to LA this time. See ya. Sorry. That's exactly what LeBron's about. You take them back, you get engaged, and they just leave again. That's LeBron to basketball. That's LeBron to his teams. He's got three rings, but so does Curry. He got them in four years. And now Kawhi has two. And LeBron's probably like, this is, this is too much for me. LeBron goes to L.A. just to be the center of attention. This is his whole plan. He says, they know they're, he says he knows they're going to be bad. Everybody's always asking him, are you sure you want to go play for a team that's rebuilding? Are you sure you want to go to a team that's probably not going to be good? And they weren't that good. They weren't disastrously bad. I think 37 and 45. Fourth in their division, pretty bad. And then he's like, yeah, I'm fine with rebuilding. I'm fine with you know, teaching the younger guys, Lonzo and all these guys or whichever one it was. I think it's Lonzo. And then they suck for one year, and then he's like, nah, get every single guy we can to win again. Get Anthony Davis, get DeMarcus Cousins, get Rondo to pass to them since they all played together already. And he, he couldn't even take it for more than one year. He has to be the center of attention. And he can't play on teams. Kawhi has to play on teams. Not all-star teams, though. Kawhi plays on teams. LeBron plays on the LeBrons. When Kawhi won the title with the Spurs, no one had over 16 points per game. That was him. That was an old Ginobili, an old Parker, an old Duncan. They even had Matt Bonner on their team. Do you know who Matt Bonner was? 
one of the I don't even want to make fun of Pat Potter, but he let's just say he's not an exciting player, okay? People just don't like LeBron, okay? That's what we're learning. That's what we've learned over the years. He even drove Magic Johnson out of Los Angeles. Magic Johnson beat AIDS, but LeBron's too much. That's how bad LeBron is. He's like, nah, I'm out of here. LeBron has to be numero uno. He has to be the number one player. He has to be the coach. He has to be the GM. He has to be everything. And that's why everybody's slowly just being like, I don't really like being involved with you, LeBron, because it's LeBron or nothing, like Nerf, if, to quote 90s Nerf commercials. You guys remember that Tyron Lue photo? on Cleveland where they're doing the huddle and LeBron is leading the huddle and the coach Tyron Lue is outside of the huddle. He's not even involved. That's what LeBron wants. He doesn't want a coach. He doesn't want a GM. He wants a, an assistant GM and an assistant coach and that way he gets like four paychecks. The only thing I think I agree with him on is music. He posts some goody, pretty good clips of him rapping to music and I guess there's that kid who says LeBron James a bunch of times. I like him. That's pretty cool too. And if there's a new Space Jam movie, and LeBron's in it, and first of all, nobody seems to want to be in it with him. There's tons of articles. Charles Barkley doesn't like it. And there's tons of articles saying that he can't get people to be in the movie with him. Giannis said he didn't want to do it, among other people. But if this movie happens, for the reason stated above is why they don't want to be with him, obviously, then LeBron should just be on the Monstars team. I would watch that movie. I'd encourage people to go see that. If LeBron's evil in the movie, then that sells. But because that's what he wants, though. That's more true to life. LeBron James being on the Monstars, the soulless basketball team who does whatever they can to win, that's what he wants. He wants him versus Steph Curry for the next 300 years. He doesn't care about the NBA. He doesn't care about the fans. He wants him versus Steph Curry over and over again until he can beat him. It can beat him consecutively, probably, till he gets to Michael Jordan levels or Kobe Bryant levels of rings. You ever seen a Bill and Ted's Awesome Adventure with uh, Keanu Reeves? Long story short, it's stupid. <laughs> but Keanu and whoever the other guy is, they get taken to hell by the Grim Reaper by death. And they're just like, let's do a best two out of three, and if you guys win... I think it's like in chess, it's in board games and risk. It's all these sorts of board games. If you guys win, you can go back to Earth. If you lose, then death gets to keep you. And they beat him, and then he goes, no, let's go best of seven. And then he goes best of nine. And they keep going till it's best like of 100 or whatever. That's what LeBron is willing to do here to win his titles. He'll play for the next 600 years and do uh, stem cells if he has to. Kawhi is more likable. He plays a team game, which is more... I feel like people are over the whole, like, superstars versus superstars. Because you don't even really get that feeling with with uh, Golden State. Because Steph Curry's not an asshole. Marcus Cousins was kind of angry, but he's he's not, like, a bad guy. He doesn't seem like it. Clay Thompson's Clay Thompson. Kevin Durant's Kevin Durant. None of them are just, like, me, 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 me. Kawhi well, plays a team game. He's not an attention seeker. I should get my fingers in the screen here. He can still win championships. And he's not begging for your approval, whereas LeBron clearly is. He wants you to know he's the best thing that ever happened. He wants you to know that without LeBron James, the NBA is worthless. That's why Kawhi is better than LeBron James. <laughs>